I'm watching the news and I'm seeing these officers put in situations and I'm I'm just looking at it from a perspective of, well, they didn't fail because they chose to fail. They failed because they're not trained properly. And I see it clear as day. It's like Bill Belichick going and watching a high school football game and seeing a team lose and knowing where their training shortfalls are and knowing how to fix it just by watching a play. Right. It's the same for me with law enforcement. I've done this for so long. I've taught so many people and I've trained this so much. And I've for 20 years gone down range and put this stuff into practical application. I watch and I see fundamental mistakes in law enforcement, specifically at the patrol officer, school resource officer level, not necessarily SWAT teams. So that was when my mentality switched. Well, why is that? Why am I training law enforcement? And I'm still seeing th these types of failures happen on, on national TV and criticism that often leads to prosecution for police officers who are doing what they're taught to do. And the more I dug into it, the more I, I found that like they just cannot afford the level of training they need for the job that they're being asked to do. And there is this absolute uh, you know, glaring gap between what the general public thinks law enforcement is capable of and what they can actually do. So I, I talked to my my training partner at the time who, who got out of our, our sister unit in the, in the Army, Army Tier 1 Special Operations, and my other partner, Paul Fitzgerald, who is a retired superintendent of Boston Police. And we, we discussed this idea to start a nonprofit. And I'd been thinking about it for about a year at that point, and I didn't really know how to implement it. And the thought was, well, if, if they're telling me they want the training, which they are, they're telling me they need the training, which I can see they need the training, but you're also telling me you can't afford it. Well, how about I pay for it? Now everybody gets what they need. And that was the methodology. So I immediately started fundraising um, and I thought I'd start this in Massachusetts because if I can do this in a very liberal state, my home state, and get support from police, from community and from politicians, then I can do this anywhere. And, and I can recreate this model across the country. And so we went up, we started fundraising. We're at about almost $350,000 right now. And all that money is going back into Massachusetts law enforcement. Uh, and, and it's it's needed it, and it's received really well. And it's 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 fundamentals and mindset. And if, if we can make a difference to make a community safer by providing some basic level training to our police that are protecting our families, then it's, it's a no brainer.